Oh, here we are. Hacking your target. Here we go. Assuming control. I think I should have left those actually. Because they will probably explode. Yeah. <laughs> should have left them. This is it? Yes, we will upload a copy of our lifeline into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will notify us. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? You can override these like you did the earlier turrets. They can help defend our position. Correct. In addition to the turrets around us, there are others on the mainframes below. Indicate which you want activated and we will program them. This will only last a few seconds. Start your upload, Legion. We'll defend this position. File transfer begun. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Attacking your target. Alert. Assuming control. Assuming control. Of course he does it like that. die so often if my abilities would just work. <sighs> Data mine and analysis complete. Shepard Commander, it is time to choose. Do we rewrite the heretics or delete them? Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. Hmm. What's to stop them from using the virus later to change themselves back? We will delete the virus after using it. We judge it too dangerous to allow its existence. You don't have any trouble wiping out your own people. Every sapien has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. If they yeah, have yeah, the yeah. right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. It is Shepard Commander's decision. Ah, uh, Honestly, I think I'm going to go with my original decision of... It's not necessarily because it's safer to kill them, but like, like Legion said, I feel like every sapient has the right, like the inherent right to make their own decisions, and then you have to deal with the consequences of those decisions. And the heretics knew that these, these actions that they took would invite repercussions upon them. 
Um, and they've also started infiltrating the other Geth. Like, this whole code, anyway, that they were going to use anyway is sort of like a biological warfare to, like, change the minds of the other Geth, the non-heretics. Like, it just sounds like they've... I mean, they know the path. And to be fair, they may be being um, manipulated by the Reapers. Um, uh, just, like, not, like, how... I don't think like the reapers can like do the same manipulation of non-organic as they can organics but uh but i think they could like try to state things very logically you know make it sound logical and make the guests go hmm yeah and plus like they see them like the, the they see them as like a god figure you know so they're gonna like anything they say is gonna have extra weight to it you know and they're gonna try to warp their own views potentially to the views of their god you know um, but, yeah, I feel like it's a more, almost dignified, I don't know, you can say dignified to, like, justify wholesale slaughter, right? Like, I mean, it's not slaughter in the same way, but, like, if this was two sentient species, you know, or two organic species, and I had, or, like, one, and they had a split, like, a civil war down the middle, and I had the option to, like, force one... And again, I'm, like, seeing shades of that final Mass Effect 3 decision that at the time I didn't see it that way, and it's only later after discussion with people that I've seen it in a similar light. Um, but it's also not as weighty a decision, whereas the end of Mass Effect 3, like, you know, like, the there's a whole lot more at stake than just one sentient species, you know? Um, but again, you can justify just about anything you want. In anything. In real life, in video games, you know what I mean? Like, you can, your, your moral dilemmas, you can try to justify them in any way you want. Um. Also, me likening them to sort of, like, the Nazis makes me think it's probably just, like, better to kill them. <laughs> because it's like, listen, you, yeah, like, you, you chose a path that makes it so you cannot coexist with others. Like, exact as Legion stated, you know? Like, and I also believe you should have to deal with the consequences of your own actions. And the consequences of trying to enact wholesale slaughter is that you will be destroyed. Despite this potentially giving, like, hit, like you know, I don't know, like, breaking a kneecap in the next game or so, it's not really that bad a deal. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, enough moralizing. Been moralizing the whole time. I am gonna go with my original decision, not only because it's, I think, almost more dignified. I guess is not quite the word I want, but like, it is the the sentient right to make your own decisions and like live with the consequences to live or die by the consequences. Right, that's your right. You know, it's not even just like it's not necessarily imposed on you. It's your right to live and die for your cause if you so choose. You know. But the idea of rewriting somebody, at least right now, is like, it, you know, like, in, in this instance, is like, it just makes my stomach turn, you know? Like, I don't, it's like forcing them to be something they're not, you know? And even though they'll come to think, oh, yeah, this is a good idea, how silly we were, like, potentially, it's still, like, it's a weird idea. It's a weird idea, and it just makes my, it, I balk at it, you know? So... This is the only major, as far as I can remember, off the top of my head, maybe you guys would know better, um, major per renegade decision that I do that isn't just like a cutscene thing. Ah, the idea of preservation versus like protection of rights, you know, preservation of a people or protection of their rights, you know. Ah, no, I am, because I'm trying to keep this as my original one anyway, I'm gonna stick with this. Also, that's like the basis, right? Like this is what I originally was, did in my original run through, I'll stick with it. I still think it's, mm, like maybe not morally right to kill off an entire sentient 6.6 .6 million sentient beings. <laughs> like, wow, ugh, like that's something that would stick with you even if they're not organic, but still, like, again, the way I'm also kind of falling back on this is you choose, you make your life choices and you have to live with the consequences or die by the consequences, so. There's no guarantee they won't come to the same conclusions again, is there? To worship the Reapers and attack organic. This is not the reason I chose it, but. Zero probability of error. Then blow them up. We have a chance to end this. I won't waste it. Acknowledged. 
I don't like the way Renegade Shep says it. Recommend withdrawal to Normandy. But, you know, the outcome is the same. Oh, look at that hefty renegade. I remember actually being incredibly surprised when I first played and realizing that that decision was renegade. I was like, I think I had like, like stopped and was like, like this can't be right, you know? And like, I, like, I think I looked it up. I'm not 100% sure, but. Cause like the whole time, yeah, you're like, as Paragon Shepherd, you're like, rewriting is morally unethical, you know? Um, and then all of a sudden it's like, JK, you know, that's not the concern here anymore. And it's like, what? <laughs> Where are my friends? Whoa, oh, gee, oh, jeez. I don't even think this is gonna do anything to you. Nope, absolutely not. I am running out of ammo. Can I have ammo, please? Oh, good, we're good. Okay. They gave you plenty of time. Genocide. Just because they didn't agree with me. But, again, they were gonna destroy it. They were gonna attempt to destroy destroy all organics, so I can't feel too terribly bad, but still. It is, uh... Oh, here we go. Destruction of Geth heretics may change entire galactic landscape, bolstering observation of Geth space to monitor any fleet movements. Regardless, data recovered from Geth station offered valuable insight into AI, social, and technological processes. Legion should be committed to the mission to help sh with Shep after Shepard's help with the Geth heretics. Also, like, with the destruction here, I don't think it... it, it there's still Geth heretics out and about, right? Um... And they don't necessarily always have contact with the home base, essentially, with that with that station. Um, but they will still be able to operate, it, like even it, even in like a smaller manner. But like mostly, we were destroying the virus. We just wanted to destroy the virus. But now we've destroyed most of the Geth heretics. Don't worry, though. There's a whole bunch that pop up in Mass Effect Three. <laughs> also, now we have something else to deal with. With Legion, you better get down to the AI core. I'm on it, Joker. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We weakened the Geth by destroying that base, Shepard. But there's still a threat. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, <sighs> I trusted you, and I worked with a Geth on the team, but this is too much. You're both right. Also, she doesn't... It's a different intimidating look when she's in, like, heels and a dress. You know what I mean? Like, it's still in... It's not like the armor, or it's not like she's wearing, like, Cerberus clothes. But it's like, listen, you two, if I have to come in here, we are turning this ship around. <laughs> like, you know? like She looks very intimidating, but in, like, a... In a snazzy way, I guess. I don't know. Tally, your father was running brutal experiments. If the subjects had been human, I'd damn well be telling the Alliance about it. I know, but if the Geth find out... They'd attack, which would cause a war that would leave both the Geth and the Corians vulnerable when the Reapers show up. Is that what you want, Legion? 
We believed it was necessary to relay the information. Sooner or later, you're both gonna have to stop fighting this war. Or we'll all end up paying for it. To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data That's to send? That's huge. We would be grateful. That's huge, honestly. Like, Tally being like, like, she's like, Shepard's like, oh, my kids are getting along. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> you know, but like, for Tally to be willing to send even a little bit of data is like huge. Huge. Especially after everything she's been through. And now we must go talk with Legion. Shepard. What happens to the heretics now? Many heretics remain in isolated systems. It is not impossible for them to rebuild. There's still a chance they could attack again. The probability is low. If so, it would take many years. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. <sighs> have I already done all this? Oh boy. Did Sovereign contact the Geth or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the Creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. If I have already done this, I apologize. Uh, but I don't remember, so I'm going to do it. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler. A Sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it. One ship, one will, many minds, like the Geth. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Geth. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. Someone brought up, and I don't know if it'll come up in the videos that I made of, of the stream that I did, but um, somebody brought up that there is there are hints that um, the original story for Mass Effect 2 had you being rescued by Legion, and instead of instead of Liara and Cerberus, that you were rescued by Legion and Im improved and Im upgraded and brought back by the Geth. Um, which I think would, would have been a super compelling story, honestly. It would have been really... If, if that's the case. Like, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was an option that... I'm sure it was an option that was thrown around. Like, they come up with so many different variables. But there's potential... In, there's um, indications of this, I guess, by the fact that apparently Legion has um, some, some cut dialogue and scenes and stuff um, that you can put back in, I think. At least dialogue uh, that indicate him being it being a very early companion, like in like not just one that you get late game um, or mid game as I did, haha. -ha. Um, but yeah, like that would have been super cool. To be fair, the Cerberus they had like the Cerberus like nuggets dropped, you know, um, in Mass Effect One, so it didn't it didn't come out of total left field for Cerberus to be doing this for you, especially considering their human agenda. But um. Well, the kitty wants to be let out. Anyway, I will stop. Anyway, I thought, I thought that was interesting, and I will continue with the questions in a moment. <laughs> Some of the Geth followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Exactly! Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass mm -hmm. relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. Honestly, that was really mind-blowing for me. I had, like, when you realize that, you're like, oh my gosh, like, this wasn't Prothean technology, this was Reaper technology designed to, like, make it easier for them to track our progression. Essentially, that we would track along certain lines. 
and and it would be easier to track like how far along we are you know in in our development um which is like whoa um also oh shoot what else there's something else that that it said oh, i can't remember i'm surprised you can speak the geth i fought before just made a stuttering sound we prefer direct digital transfer Geth network communication I think we have state. talked about this. Human hardware does not support yeah. this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies. By codifying the most broadly acceptable... So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. Yeah, let me just make sure. We need every advantage of We have species. reproduced our ranged armament. No further co-development is possible. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. Okay. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. All right. Sorry if we... I feel like we maybe redid some of that. Um, but maybe one or two of them were new. Um, anyway, I'm gonna call this one here. It'll probably be two videos again because I cannot stop talking. But, uh, anyway, this is a much more interesting, like, I remember it being an interesting mission, but the fact that I just, at least now, maybe, oh, the inter, the, uh, the, the technologies thing. I, my brain is going a million, these all things all connected in my head. Where I was like, uh, like the, the developing independent, like, paths to the same, like, technological outcome, and my brain connected to that because of something else it was thinking about in the background. Anyway. Um, I have like seven trains of thought going at once. It's gnarly. Nothing ever comes out correctly. Um, but yes, the independently, like independent paths to a similar or same technology happens all over the world. Happened all over the world in the past, right? Where like independently different societies came up with like agricultural practices that were very similar. Technologies that were very similar, you know? Like there's always like the trade and dissemination like across groups, but there's all, like, it's kind of a, like there's some arguments where it's like, oh, obviously all of it, like, you know, technology like originated, this specific technology originated from this group and was disseminated by trade and like, you know, marriage and, and crossing paths and stuff and it, you know, it branched out from one place you know but which which does happen and, but saying that's the only thing that happens is silly because there's documented evidence of things of, of, of technologies occurring like technologies and like ideologies and like um, methods of doing things that are very similar developing in totally different areas like the South America versus like you know Asia you know um, and so, like, at, at similar times sometimes, you know, but, like, sometimes, like, it, like, you know, 100, 200, 300 years later or earlier, you know, but there is definite evidence of it, like, independently being instigated because people are not stupid, <laughs> you know, and, like, it, you'll, you'll figure things out because we all have, in a, in a way, if you look at it very broadly, we all have very similar things, we rocks plants you know like and i'm talking very broadly like obviously there's like regional differences but like rocks for example you know like you find one that breaks really well after if you use it to hit something and you're like oh now it's sharper after it's broken and like you keep you realize that if you hit it more you can make you know sharper better more specialized tools you know you're gonna figure that out whether you're in north america or if you're like in freaking mesopotamia you know, like, because also if you think, like, there's one thing, too, that comes up in these games where it's, like, your biology kind of, like, kind of how the Reapers say, where it's, like, you know, you develop along the paths that we, that we wanted because of the technology we gave you. Our biology determines in, in many ways how we will think. There are obviously variations and extremes sometimes, but, like... If you're a human being, you will your brain generally works very very generally, I'm saying like super generally in a similar way to every other human being, you know, because we are human beings, we are one species, you know. Um and so if something came along that was like say a hammer, like a jellyfish type thing, like they could possibly comprehend the world in ways we cannot, not just because of, like, optic receptors or, you know, like, sensory inputs, you know, but, like, how their actual brain is wired or if they even have a brain, you know what I mean? Like, 
it just it just depends on how they process the world can tr totally totally make how you think different anyway that's that's a cool subject but i'm not i'm gonna stop right now <laughs> i'm gonna end this video here it's really cool i think I've, i they bring it up in this game i think it's like a quantum physics thing too in some way you know it's also like a moral like, like not a moral but like a philosophizing thing where it's like you know we are trapped in our flesh sacks you know and like we can only think in such a way as like we can process data you know what i mean um and the way like our brain is structured it's it's cool stuff um but it probably has like an official name that I just can't think of. Anyway, with this door doing this awesome thing, I'm gonna go now. Thank you all so much for watching. Also, really quick, um, I do want to say thank you to my patrons. To we have a little announcement for Patreon, I guess. Um, but I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to Reese Galito especially. Thank you so much for being a sapling tier patron. And I want to give an extra special shout out to. Adam, who is also now a tree tier patron along with Christopher. So Christopher, thank you so much for your support. And Adam, thank you so much for like leveling up, I guess, in your support. I appreciate that. I will say I don't know if your tier has changed yet because I saw that the change happened this month in June. Um, I can try to change that. I just noticed that you put yourself in the category, the monetary category of tree tier um for which i am eternally grateful it's incredibly kind thank you so so much um and but if you want to continue in that and it's not just like a one-time gift which is like totally legitimately awesome um then let me know if it doesn't change i'll also keep an eye on it but i would love to get you like officially in that like tree platform i guess <laughs> um or tier i guess but thank you again thank you both so much for your support you guys have been really really supportive and i really appreciate it and just in general thank you all so much for watching honestly it's really great that you guys still watch my videos after all this time so and that new people are coming in every now and then to say hi i appreciate it all very very much so thank you again and i hope to see you in the next one